Anybody out there have one of these little snap-on battery packs, 7.2 or 14.4 volt, uh, the CTB8172? Well, I'm gonna briefly go over how to rebuild them. Inside, you got these cells here, these original cells. The top cells that are in that um, stump part are hard to get out because they've got adhesive on them. I uh, heated it up with a heat gun um, just a bit and it let me draw it out slowly and uh, I did get it out without boogering anything up. Um, you'll see there are solder points on the old original battery here and here. Two more on the other side, same position here and here. All right, those are important. Uh, before I start, I usually take pictures just so if I forget anything, let's say I detach my wires and I can't remember which one goes where, and I have a reference from a couple of different angles to go back and look at. Um, so take note down here that you know both these batteries on the bottom are negative side over here, positive side over here, okay? Whereas these on top are, are alternating, positive on top, negative on top. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me so far through this video. Um, if you don't mind, I would love it if you take a second and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm really passionate about getting battery knowledge and battery information out there and I found there isn't a lot of battery education easily available or understandable. Um, so I'm doing my best to uh, go through, through some of the things I encounter at work and share them with you guys um, to get that battery education out there. Um, you know, there's batteries in just about everything these days if it's not plugged into the wall. So um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing uh, to my channel and liking this video, uh, that'll help me grow and help me get these videos out there to more people. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something from the rest of the video. So first thing I did was I desoldered my four solder, solder points. Um, sometimes I'll actually take off these tabs. I'll flatten out the, the part here where I had to pry on them to get the to break the old weld um, and then I will reuse them um, and the reason is because you know they're they're the just the right size they're just the right shape they've already got the solder points on them um, this time however I decided not to and I actually found it was easier to not reuse them um, so first thing I did is I took my bottom cells and I tapped one tab on this side that was going to just go to the wire here, the red wire, and then I tapped one on the negative of the other battery, so it was just going to go to the wire here. Uh, then I disconnected everything and I made sure I remember what was positive, what was negative. Uh, and I started by replacing first these top two cells, because there's a lot that goes on up here. Um, you have all these different connection points, and if you do that last after hooking up everything, it is so easy to short this out on the soldering iron, or you know whatever you're using to put pressure on there to get everything in place, hold everything in place while the solder is still hot and soft. Um, I, I've done that lots of times where we're just we're constantly trying to avoid shorting out. Um, so, but this time I did it first, and I didn't have to worry about shorting out because it wasn't hooked up to anything. Um, so, you know, I I put a tab on the top of this battery, and I put a tab on the top of this battery, and uh, I fed that tab up through here, put this piece back in here, clipped that tab off, put some solder on here, bent the tab over, squashed it down with my tweezers and soldered it. Same with this side. Then, I flipped it upside down. I marked out the angles here. You can see I have a small Sharpie mark. So if I start on center with this tab, back under here, and pull it out, the center of this tab and you would pass through um, this dot here so that's how I got my angle out here to know how it would fall same with this side see a small dot there so I put my tab on center and I was able to follow it out keeping this dot on the center and um, that got me about where I needed to be um, so to recap step one so far I put these tabs on even though I didn't do anything with them yet I did these before I did anything else, uh, connection-wise. I flipped this upside down. I put my long tabs on here. I was just talking about put my long tab on here. All right, so it was connected to these two batteries. All right, I 
flipped it on the side. My angle was all right. So I tapped it onto here. Okay, same with the other side. Flip it along, tapped it on here. I left those tabs a little bit long so that as you can see, I was able to, once I was, I tapped them on, I bent them over and a little piece protruded off the top. And that's what I soldered to. Same with this side here, you can see it a little better. So I bent it over, that's what I soldered to. Okay, and lastly, connected these. Make sure when you're doing these, um, bring the tab up a little bit so that the tab is not in contact with the wrap on the battery. Because as you heat that up with a soldering iron and put solder on it, you can melt this. And at least on the positive end, you can short the battery out that way. Because the positive terminal is only this center piece. Right here, all the way down, that's all negative. So you don't want to melt this at all, either with your heat gun or with your soldering iron, because um, you can short out the battery. You may not notice it at first, but the pack will go dead very fast. Um, so anyway, so I put the solder on here while the tab was away from the battery, brought the wire out, soldered it on when it wasn't touching, and then I brought it back down once it cooled. And I did that with each, each soldering point. Um, that's pretty much it then. You, know, you got the pack. You got uh, one little detail here. Inside the base of the pack, you'll see this little loop here and a loop here. And that matches up with that little loop here and that little loop there. So my loops are pointing up. So they're gonna, they're gonna fall right in there. Otherwise, it'll be slightly too tall. And you know, you can get the screws in to get it sealed, but it's gonna be kind of stretched. And you don't want that. Hope that helps someone who's interested in rebuilding these. Um, tools needed, new cells, nickel tabs, solder, um, you know, a glue gun just to hold some things in place. Um, was this a Phillips or was this a, this is a star bit with a dot in the middle, I think. No, no dot in the middle. So that's about all you needed. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.